guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. It's been a little while since a good old fashioned house build uh, and that's usually the case every single episode. Now as the title and thumbnail may suggest, this is going to be a triangle build because you know, I think rectangles and squares, man, they are so last week's news. It's it's all, you know, the future, you know, triangles are the new square. That's just the way it is. You know, it's it's in, it's hot. Uh, I mean, sure, circles are pretty curvy, but we don't have that tech, we don't possess that technology in The Sims. So, you know, we make do with triangles instead, because nature, as, as nature intended, triangles are the closest thing to circles. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> trying to convince you that triangles are cool and maybe, you know, it's not, people say it's hip to be square, but is it really, is it really? No, I think is the answer to that one. It's angular to be triangle, -ular. Yeah, let's go. So in the comments, come up with a better, <laughs> with a better catchphrase for triangles. Because hip to, like squares have got one. Uh, I mean, do rectangles have a catchphrase? It's, it's square to be rectangle. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so the whole premise of this was like, hey, I want to try it. Like, because I've done diagonal builds. I was like, what can I do differently in this build? What's something new that I could do that I haven't really done? Uh, I've done like diagonal builds in the past. And I was like, oh, I want to do something diagonal. But let's let's mix it up a little bit. Let's go triagonal. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, I'm still trying to come up with, with a new phrase for them. So we're doing a triagonal house. Uh, which is totally a thing. No, yeah, I thought this would be kind of interesting. Especially because... Uh, it's, you know, when you get to the end of the building here, like the, at the tip there, I didn't, I decided not to go for a direct point at the end just because that would make that space completely useless and I wouldn't be able to do anything in it. So I kind of almost rounded off the end there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting because all the, you know, all the rooms and that sort of come to a point and makes the interior design kind of interesting. So I had a little bit of fun with it. Now I went with one of my favorite color schemes, which everyone's going to be so fond of. I, I love, I love a, a sort of no, I mean, this isn't a black and white. It's just a dark color scheme. And there's a lot, there, there is a lot of black uh, and there's, I'm using browns as well. This section of the building is brown and I'm using these vertical wooden uh, sort of uh, wooden, wooden like poles or whatever they call I don't know what they're called in game, but I always use them as like a sunshade kind of thing. And that's what I'm doing. So on each of the windows there, you can see I've actually got a wall coming out. So it's like a sunshade. And then we have those vertical uh, wooden posts things would I don't know I really if I knew the terms for all these things you know <laughs> it'd make these videos so much more informative but whatever uh and I kind of felt like because because I was going with the brown tone like with that that section of the building anyway I was like why don't, why don't we get like some grass patches on the roof because it just looks kind of cool and it it's got the sort of natural tones in it as well so we mix the browns and the greens with the gray and uh the sort of blacks there as well and I think it it, it looks really sleek and I think it looks awesome I think the living room and kitchen area is one of my favorite places in this building. It's one of my, I think it's one of my favorite interiors. Uh, the, I think it turned out really, really well. And actually, those of you that are big fans of laundry in The Sims, because I know you're out there. I don't know who you are, but you are out there. And I got to say, you should probably check into that. But if you are fans of laundry, I've actually included a laundry in this build, which I don't normally do because the reason I don't do it is not because I'm forgetting, which some people seem to think that I am. I'm not forgetting it. I just choose not to do it because I don't like laundry in The Sims. And it's just like, it's just, it's always been, and not just in The Sims 4, but in The Sims, did they have it in The Sims 2? Anyway, in The Sims 3, there's always this unnecessary feature. I'm like, why would I add this? It just adds more useless gameplay. That doesn't do anything. And and then it's the same thing in The Sims 4. I'm like, I don't... I like... Okay, I, I understand. I like it for the you know the realism of a house and to build in a laundry. But I don't want my Sims to actually be doing laundry. But in any case, I added a laundry in. So, <laughs> I did it. Anyway, so I decided to... I really wish that uh, I, I was... The idea behind the laundry that I'm doing here is I wanted it to be built in. I, I wish you could do like cabinet doors in front of it. I was considering just putting a door right in front of them. But the doors all look terrible. Like I really would want like a flush cabinet, you know. Uh, that's ideally what it would be. If you imagine it that way, you have cabinet doors on it. You open them up. The laundry is just packed away neatly. Fortunately, I can't do that. So I decided to... Uh, d decided? Yeah. I decided to just make it a little bit bigger. So I moved it back a bit. And then I was... Again, I was going to do a normal door here uh, to see if it would look okay. It really didn't. So instead, I actually ended up just doing like an archway. So I kept it open. It's part of the, the kitchen and living space. But it's sort of sunken in a little bit. So you could imagine that maybe there was a door there. But they just have it open at, the, at this time. 
I don't know. That's kind of what I went with. Uh, but with the kitchen, I decided to use the good old jungle adventure counters because I do, I do really like the countertops on those. I think they look really, really nice. Like it's a stone countertop, which is super good. Uh, and then we do have the new island counters that actually match it, but I don't know that they actually, <laughs> I actually use them or not. Um, so we do have a little balcony, not balcony, I guess it's more of like a patio just behind the kitchen there. And I was going to... I was going to put a door or something there, but then I decided not to because the windows from that, that patio go directly into one of the bedrooms. I'm like, I don't really want it to be public space. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's more just a, a, a little patio for that bedroom that's there. But yeah, so you can see how the laundry is now it's sort of like two by two room just sunken in there. And then this is the living and dining area just opposite it, doing some similar sort of uh, sun shades that we have like around the back of the house, just bringing that motif around to this side too. And I don't know if you saw earlier, because I was blithering on about triangular and <laughs> triangles, uh, but up the top on the roof, you saw that I did uh, all these windows and this like square, uh, well, not square, oh, I should have made it a triangle, damn it, this rectangular glass box, you know, on the roof, which gets all this beautiful light coming down to this lower floor and all this, uh, all this shadows and all this, uh, it just lightens up the whole space. And you'll see in the screenshots at the end, it actually really looks cool. And the, the lighting that comes through, it looks great. Uh, but yeah, here's the kitchen going for a very modern uh, color scheme, grays, whites, uh, nice clean tiles and all that. Uh, so keeping it very modern, very clean. But I had a little bit of fun with the sink there. We've got these sort of brassy kind of goldish taps. Uh, almost, yeah, like th that kind of color scheme of black sink. I thought that looked quite cool and went nicely in with the countertop there. I also tried to add a few clutter items in there, you know, like the dirty dishes and a little plant on the other side. And I think, did I, what else did I There's something else on the other side. I can't remember what it was now you may be thinking whoa james you've just done the kitchen but where where is the bin uh, i haven't put it in yet but i do put it in don't worry <laughs> now i did consider if you guys watched my video that i did recently about creating my own custom content uh that potted plant just there i'd actually put uh did a recolor of it put my face on it considered using it in this build but it's like <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just going to use, I'll just use the regular version. Uh, but if you do want to download that, it is on my website, the, the plant with my face on it. It's pretty exciting. So you should go there and uh, check it out. Um, yeah. So again, keeping the color scheme very modern, very contemporary. This is a very hot, hot color scheme at the moment. The blacks, the whites, the, the wood, the wood tones as well. Uh, I know you guys, you guys love to give me a little bit of flack for always doing similar sort of color schemes, but the reason I do it is because I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way uh, all the, it all goes together. I think it just looks really, really great. And um, I thought it was perfect for this build because this one, this build does seem like a very new one. You know, just the styling of it is very, very contemporary. Uh, so I figured I would design the interior in that ex exact same way, you know. Uh, but I want to do, I want to, I don't know. I think I should do a, I don't know what style of house I want to, I definitely want to do something different. I love, I, well, obviously doing different every time is always fun. Uh, but I think I need to do, I love modern builds. That's a problem. I love, I love doing modern builds just cause that's what I like. That's, <laughs> that's what it's all about, right? Building what you like. That's kind of what the Sims is for. Um, I could do, oh, maybe I could do like a houseboat kind of thing. I mean, obviously it, the Sims 3 would have been perfect for that, but I love, because that, that would give me the ability to, because it could be like an older style house. Oh, you know, coming up with all the great ideas here. Make sure to list your ideas down below. Uh, now, what did, I feel like there was something I wanted to, <laughs> I feel like there was something I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you could please take a seat. I, this is quite, this is, the, this is the serious portion of the house build. No, it's not that serious. I don't know. I don't even know what I was going to talk about now. I don't know. No, nah, Disneyland was cool. Well, not Disneyland, Disney World. I went to Florida. That was a while ago now. You've probably already heard about it. It was pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I feel like there was something I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to talk about this. It's going to be great. What have I been doing? I did some stuff. I did some things. I went to a wedding. That was actually, that was super nice. Uh, one of my friends got married last weekend. That was good. Yep, yeah, cool. Good story. Let's move forward. Uh, <laughs> so I was actually spending quite a lot of time trying to figure out the furnishings of, you know, just this place in general and uh, the living area. And I was like, I really want to put something in the walls. But then I was like, a lot of the walls really don't need something on them. Like if you, do, you know, step back and actually look at your own walls at home, you probably don't have something on every wall or that cluttered. Sometimes it looks really good if you can get some pictures on the wall. Uh, but in this case, I was like, I think I put, what did I, I put something there. 
Just because that is a big wall with nothing on it. I think I bought one thing there. Maybe is it that? Maybe. Oh, there we go. I actually put a clothes hamper in too and a bin. So you will have to do laundry if you move in here or you just remove the laundry completely and then you don't have to worry about it at all. Which I would probably recommend because laundry sucks. Laundry sucks. Uh, I'm actually interested to see... Oh, if you're watching this in the future, no spoilers, please. But uh, at this point in time, which is currently the 28th of April, 2018, uh, we are... Prior to the announcement that they're going to be making an EA Play this year, where they said they're going to reveal a new Sims 4 experience, uh, which will probably just be in like a new pack or something. I mean, it's got to be an expansion, right? Leave your theories in the comments down below about what we could be finding out. Because I'm, I'm, I'm always excited for new Sims news, and we haven't had any for a while because there was no quarterly teaser, uh, and we had, oh god, we, had, we were all let down by my first pet sucks. That wasn't a great pack. Jungle Adventure, though, I really, I really like that. But I'm interested to see what's next and what the next expansion is going to be. I mean, there's heavy, there's been heavy, heavy rumors about it being seasons since like, when did they start? Like, that was like late last year, I swear, or earlier. <laughs> it was probably like Cats and Dogs came out. Oh, seasons is next. I don't know. There's been rumors about that for a while, so it could be that. But I'm, I'm excited to see what's next. I'm also, when they do bring back seasons and that, I wonder if they'll say, Oh, no, nah, we decided to make it so you couldn't control your Sims because that's unrealistic. I don't know. <laughs> Just like with cats and dogs. Oh, no, it's unrealistic to control your pets, so we didn't do it. Um, no, <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm interested to see what they will actually add with seasons because what's come with it in the past? In the past, they did, didn't they add festivals and that with seasons and they had more farming or something maybe? But then we already have those things, so I don't even know what you'd add with that pack. I don't know. That's why I'm interested to see. I mean, anyway, if it's not seasons, I'm also interested to see what they're going to be announcing. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, so this room at the end is actually a third bedroom, but I thought it'd be because it's definitely it would definitely be a single bedroom. I don't think you'd fit a double bed in that end triangle bedroom, but it was like perfect for an office. So I was like, I'm going to put a desk in here, computer, you know, bookcases, all that kind of stuff. And I think that worked out really, really nicely. Uh, and then this one is the main bedroom, obviously, because it's got the ensuite. It would have been perfect if the main bedroom also had the balcony or the, the little patio, but it does not. So I guess we shall not worry about that. But again, I did the same sort of thing with the bedrooms. I kept them pretty simple. Um, and you might be like, oh, it's so white in there. But I mean, most new builds, like well, contemporary new builds are very like, you know, you have white carpet, white walls, and that's pretty much it. You go and it's blank. It's a blank canvas. And then you add in your own furniture and you do up the walls and all that. And that's kind of where I was going with this as well. Like the living room, I had a little bit more fun with in terms of the wall uh, colors and texture. Uh, color. <laughs> You'll be like, Ooh, colors in the comments. No, but you know what I mean? Like I added in the darker wall with all the bricks and I did tiles in the, in the living space and the floorboards bring in a nice warm brown tone as well. Whereas the bedrooms are very, very blank canvas in terms of the walls. Uh, I also did make sure to use like the slate tiles in the bathroom to bring in that sort of black uh, motif around from the build and bring that in there as well. Keep it very sleek, very clean. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just. I just. I mean, it's definitely not just me that loves this kind of color scheme because it's it's a popular color scheme for a reason at the moment um yeah so this is the other bedroom that has that huge area there i don't know why it does it just did it looked good in that part of the house so i decided to put it there uh <laughs> i was like what do i put behind the bed i'm gonna have that huge dog uh like a poker painting kind of thing i think i actually left it blank because i was like well i was thinking to like my actual bedroom and now my actual bedroom might not be the great example of a well-decorated bedroom. In fact, it's absolutely not. It, <laughs> my, I don't have anything on my walls in my room, mostly because it's a rental and I don't want to put a hole in the wall. I guess I could get those little sticky, little sticky tabs and hang stuff up. But all I did in my bedroom, I've got, uh, I got my bed like like this one here, and then I do have a TV at the other end of it, so you can obviously Netflix and chill because who's not going to want to do that? And then I have like a bookcase with like Sims merch all over it. And I have a, like, a mirror on the wall and a built-in wardrobe. And that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. It's a pretty blank bedroom. And I've been living there for a year now. So maybe I should... Uh... Nah, screw it. I mean, look, by the time it's... It'll be that thing where it's like, I'm moving out. But then I've just finished decorating. It's like, oh, it's time to move. I'll be, mean, damn it. Damn it. I just, I just moved in. It only took me five years, but I just moved in. Damn it. 
anyway so here's a little office at the end there i decided to put up some cool like movie posters i was like i don't know made it a bit of a bit of a movie cave well, it's not a movie cave i don't know you know what i mean just get up some cool posters i love po- i love like because around around my apartment i've got like <laughs> video game posters everywhere because I, get, I just get given them and they come in like they come in the games like boxes and that i'm like oh yeah i'll put it in the frame and hang it on the wall sick <laughs> and then we have like a shelving unit that's just filled with like video game figurines and like little knickknacks and <laughs> it's so like it's such a gamer's apartment, but it's great. I love it. Uh, and then I decided to just do some simple landscaping. I was like, I was, actually, as you can see, I was like, what the hell do I put out here? I almost felt like it didn't need a whole lot. Like it, because it is a very clean kind of looking building, but it also looked really blank with nothing. So I decided to put a few things here and there. And you'll see in the screenshots as well. Uh, I think there's a few more things added after I stopped recording as well. Just a, a few little things here and there to uh, give it a bit more oomph. Make sure it's not sitting in a random field with nothing in it. Uh, but again, there's actually nothing out the back either. I just did a really simple side uh, area here with a barbecue on it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, a couple of trees. But that means there's a little bit of room out the back if you want to add some stuff. It's on. This is on a 20 by 30 lot. So, I mean, anything bigger than that would fit it just fine. Uh, but I think this is the this is the smallest lot it would probably fit on. But here's the exterior. It's triangular. What? It's the new square. It's great. Yeah, and there's that glass sort of box at the top there. I thought it was kind of cool. I think it worked out quite well. And you'll see, actually, I love yeah, I love the the living room, kitchen, dining area. Uh, yeah, look at that. How is that not cool? And you got the huge roof area. Really wish uh, we could do like split levels so we didn't. I didn't have to use a whole wall's height. I could have done like half walls and then done a fake roof over the top of it, but it would have been, the lighting would have been dodgy as hell. But yeah, I really love this space. I think it's super nice. Here's a shot from above looking down. I think it also makes the area feel a lot bigger and a lot more airy, like especially from that angle. I love it. There's the laundry hidden away in there too. Um, really, really cool. Now, if you do want to download this, there will be a link in the description uh, that will take you to the gallery. Or you can search in the game. Uh, you can search for my origin ID, which is The Sim Supply. Same as my username here on YouTube, just without the spaces. Uh, so you can find it there or hashtag The Sim Supply or whatever I call this modern triangle house or something. I think it was called that in the gallery. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. That's the build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave your speculation for the next Sims pack down below. What you thought of this house. Uh, if there's other stuff that you want to say, if you want to tell me your life story, put it in the comments. I mean, put something in the comments. Just if you, look, if nothing else, if you watch this long, just type hi in the comments. Uh, or maybe something a little bit more useful. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and have a triangular day.